welcome back to Virginia this morning, live here on CBS 6. Our next guest really doesn't need an introduction. Once you hear her name, you know we're going to have some fun in the kitchen. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's going to make two different recipes on the show today. And first up will be her grilled summer squash bruschetta. And then a little bit later in the show, she's going to roll up her pesto rolls. We welcome Sequoia Chef Coco Ross back to Virginia this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Evan. How are you guys doing? We are doing great. And uh, by the two things you're fixing today, I guess you're spicy cocoa today. Listen, I <laughs> love the summertime. Y'all know I love the summertime. Today's the 21st, and six days is my birthday. Ooh. I'm going to be real spicy. I'm going to be spicy. <laughs> spicy. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be 44. I can't believe it. I still feel like I'm 21. So if I go out, guys, everybody needs to card me. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Please ask for my yeah. ID. Please. Please, <laughs> Please ask for that Please uh, that young ID. girl's ID. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump right in to this recipe. You know I like fresh. You know I don't play around. When the summertime comes around, I want everything fresh. I want everything pretty much local. Um, and so I made pesto. And pesto is a wonderful condiment that you can keep in your fridge for up to two weeks. It's not going to last that long, trust me. But it's great for making compound butters. It's great for salad dressing. I store it in a mason jar in the coldest part of my fridge. And all it is is basil, lemon juice. Um, I always put lemon zest in mine. Mm. Really good olive oil. Garlic. I use garlic scapes in this one. Scapes, the season for that is so quick. So if you see any at your local farmer's market, grab them and make pesto. And then, um, and then I put some garlic in there as well. And just store it in your fridge, and and you, you got it made. So you right put now, nuts I'm in yours, really, Chef Coco. I do, I do. Sometimes I don't because my daughter has a nut allergy. But I use walnut instead of pine nuts because mm. they're a little bit more affordable and accessible. I don't want people to ever feel like the recipes that I do cost too much. Well, that's a really different okay. taste, though, too. Walnuts and pine nuts, don't, pine nuts don't taste anything. Not else. at all. You yeah. roast them. Here come Bill. <laughs> You're going to roast them up and grind them up. Once you pulverize them, they, you don't even taste the difference. It's, huh. it's a, All right, what yeah. you got in the pan yeah, right yeah. now, Coco? So right now I've got these onions in here and then the summer squash. So Ooh. got zucchini, I've got some yellow squash. Mm -hmm. And what I wanted to do for the recipe that you all have online, or we'll have online later, it calls for the squash to be diced up. Uh -huh. But I thought that it being sliced up would be so much prettier because then it looks like ribbon. Yeah. When you build your bruschetta, it's going to look like ribbon. So I just want to show people how easy it is to just slice it using a, a potato peeler. How you and can you're slicing that really thin, aren't you? Real thin. Yep, yeah. real thin. And get it right there on that grill pan. So you can also prepare this outside on the grill. Mm -hmm. But it's early in the morning. I was not getting ready to go out there and fire up. Because I believe in a charcoal. <laughs> I like charcoal grill. I, everybody that uses a gas grill, I know y'all think y'all grilling, but y'all not really grilling. Oh. Okay. You, uh -oh. Okay, ah, then. See? You okay. got to get that charcoal out there, those wood chips. That's when I can trust you. You out there with that gas, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. And so I couldn't get that charcoal together early in the morning. So I said, let me just do what I know how to do. Next is um, the Nutri-Grain bread that I just use these little rolls and I just cut them in half um, to make the crostini. I just squish them down with my hands. Squish them, squish it, squish it, squish it. You're pushing that love in there, the aren't you? Yeah, you know, you know I make everything with love, Bill. You know that. <laughs> love in every bite. You know, Bill, don't get me blushing on here this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, just brush it with your olive, olive oil, garlic mixture. And I do, I brush both sides. Mm. And then I just pop these right on in the oven and I let those bake while I'm waiting for my squash to get done. Okay. 
So I got the grilled onions on here. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming together nicely. Coco, did you it's put anything on those onions before you put, put them on the grill? Did you? Not at all. No, Not just at straight all. on I there. Just like them. Yeah. Because still, here's the thing. When you put onions on really high heat, their natural sugars come to the surface. Mm -hmm. So they're already going to caramelize. They're already going to grill. So they're already going to have great flavor. Mm. You don't even need to touch them with any type of salt or pepper because you're building a bruschetta. So you're going to have your pesto. And if you want to do a little garnish of the Parmesan cheese, you can do that too. Can you just take a peek at this right here? Yeah. So you can garnish it with your Parmesan cheese. And that'll add all the salt that you need. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And what I do is I just like to squoze right before I put it in my mouth. I like to squoze a little bit of lemon <laughs> right on it. So we're going to take those grilled onions. Look at that. No, nice Look at color. That. Yep. Beautiful. They've caramelized. Put them right on over here. Beautiful, beautiful. You know, I don't, I think in the summertime, we should definitely tap into nature's bounty. You should not be eating a lot of processed food in the summertime because it's so easy to throw something like this together. Super quick. And it tastes so much better, it. too. It's fresh it and seasoned. So much, it tastes so much better. It tastes so much better. And if you want to, you can also leave this out as a build your own. People oh. like to get their hands, you know, yes, yeah, build your own. Since we're coming back outside again, more people are being vaccinated. Amen. Um, we can start gathering together with family, doing a lot more things that we used to do. So this is a perfect, perfect, perfect bruschetta for that. I'm going to take those out. Well, I mean, for the picky eaters, the build your own is fine. But I, if you put it on there, I'm going to eat it, Coco. <laughs> I know. Yeah. For, for the picky eaters, okay. Well, they don't eat the caramelized onions. What's wrong with you? I'll take yours. Oh, I would say, I wonder how <laughs> Chef Coco is making hers. That's how I would. I, I thought about that. I was like, Lord, there's some people out there saying, I don't eat onions. I don't trust those people either. <laughs> Even when they don't eat onions, I don't trust those people. Um, if they, if they say they don't eat onions, what you do is put the onions at the bottom, put the squash on top, uh -huh. and then it's the perfect bite. See, sometimes you got to fool people. I have to fool my children all the time, all the time. So let's build one. Let's build one so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to take our bread right there. And then for all those picky people that say they don't eat onions, let's just put the onions mm -hmm. right here on the bottom. You can make an okay. onion sandwich. I'd be happy. Really? Oh, my God. Finally, something that you love. Oh, my Lord. You found That's it. hard to do, Evan. I know. You Let found it. You, normally, on the sh normally on the show, Bill talking about what he don't eat, mm -hmm. what he don't like. No, 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 easy now. <laughs> Uh, you know, if you make it now sweet, I'm going to eat it, Coco. But uh, the, when you get outside the sweets, then, uh, then it changes a little bit. But um, yeah. I love all of this. Look at that. Wow. Pile it high. Make it look pretty. There you go. It looks so and good. And then when you put that, that shard of Parmesan on there. Mm. And if you, if you want to get crazy... Put two on there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, there we, we go. We we're crazy. Put, <laughs> put two on there. And I like to make my pesto thick. That way, if I need to thin it, I can thin it with just a little bit more olive oil. And then I just drizzle. Look at that. Oh. Yum. That's all you have to do. That's it. That's it. Look at that. Look drizzle that. that drizzle, baby. Not hard at all. You know I like to drizzle. You know I like to drizzle. You know I love to drizzle. And this is perfect with a sangria. I already have my drink ready. I know you guys are in the station. You don't have your drink ready. But I have mine. <laughs> She's ready to go. <laughs> this is a perfect that's, summer. Listen. That's a way to start your day right there. summer beginning. It is. It's, well, see, I don't really... <laughs> Wine is just fruit juice, and then sangria is just a fruit punch. There you, you go. See what I'm saying? See, you gotta spin it. You gotta spin it. Mm -hmm. You gotta spin it. You gotta spin it. But did you see how quick and easy 
that recipe is. It's not any fuss. You know, I don't like to come on here with fussy recipes. I like to come on here with things that people can do really quickly and eat really good. Well, if it were up to us, Coco, this would be the Coco show, but uh, we don't get to decide. So we're we're going to have to bail on this and let you uh, try some of that. And, uh, folks, we are going to post that recipe later today on our show website by early this afternoon. WTBR.com slash VTM. And we're not done with her yet. Chef Coco is not signing off just yet. Coming up in about 15 minutes, she's going to walk us through the steps and creating that fantastic signature pesto rolls. Can't wait makes. for that yeah. one. And stay tuned. Our popular Everywhere You Are segment, that's coming up in less than three minutes.